Hey guys, it's Kelly from fitnessblender.com and today I have a button thigh workout for you. The only thing you need for this routine is an optional dumbbell. Even if you don't have them, you can still get in a great workout. I haven't included your warm up or your cool down, so I'll provide links to each of those. Otherwise, let's go ahead and get started. We are going to be doing 12 different exercises in groups of two in an ABAB format, so two sets of each. We're going to be doing 45 seconds on with 15 seconds rest, so this is a pretty quick transition. So do your best to move quickly, but don't feel bad if you're missing a couple seconds here and there. Just do the best that you can. So we're going to start off with a single leg deadlift, and this is a good one for balance and core strength and obviously those button thighs. So choose a weight that challenges you. I'm going to be using uh, 12 pounds per hand. And just remember which leg you're starting out on here. So remember we're doing 45 seconds a piece, so pull in that core tight, and then lower that weight towards the ground. Do your best, keep your back flat. If you have really poor balance, you can hold on to something. You can also do just a basic deadlift if uh, it's too much trouble to balance on that one leg. Otherwise, slowly lower back down, pull back up, try to pull in your core, squeeze those glutes on the way up. Make sure you're breathing. Don't let your shoulders round forward. Go at whatever pace you need to. Don't feel like you have to keep up with me. Just make sure that you're feeling it and that you're not rushing that range of motion. You're not uh, moving quickly through any one part of it because your body will try to cheat like that. All right, so there's our first interval. So now we're gonna go to uh, three-way lunges. So we're gonna be uh, lunging to the front, to the side, and then reverse. So five seconds of rest here. We're gonna start on moving uh, this right leg first. So lunging forward, come back up, lean to the side, keep that other leg straight, and then go back for a reverse lunge. Now reverse order, out for a side lunge, come up, and then out for a front lunge. So for extra credit, try to balance on one leg and never let that other leg uh, come back, whoa, for balance, see? <laughs> So come back up, hover here, and then step back out. Makes your core work harder. Anytime you can get your balance working in there, it's a good thing. We've got about 10 seconds left. All right, so back to that single leg deadlift. I'm gonna stick with this weight. 12 pounds per hand, 24 pounds total, and we're lifting that opposite leg up this time, so left leg up. Oh, and I'm already breathing hard. Here we go. Nice and slow down, squeeze, pull yourself back up. So you'll notice I am strength training barefoot today, and I actually really love to strength train barefoot. A lot of people ask us about that, and I really like it because I can feel my whole foot working instead of kind of having that really flat, rigid bottom of a shoe. However, if you were doing um, HIT, particularly on a hard surface, probably want to stick with shoes. Strength training though, I love it. Ooh, make sure you're not holding your breath. So by the end of these intervals, your muscles should really be shaking. And if they aren't, I want you to check your form first. And if your form is clean, bump up the amount of weight that you're lifting. So next up, we're going back to that lunge. So remember, you got front, side, and reverse. Nice and tall, come forward as far as you can control. Lift that foot up, but don't rest it. Lean away from yourself, come to the center, and then back for that reverse lunge. The reason I love strength training, especially if you're doing supersets like this where there's very little rest time, you end up getting a cardio workout while you're building muscle. Win-win. Got about 10 seconds left. Oh. All right, next up we've got squat, hold, and rock. So this is gonna be interesting, this is a new one. Um, I'm gonna sink down into a static squat. I'm gonna use just four pounds per hand on this because it's gonna hurt. <laughs> so we're sinking down into a static squat, so get right down as low as you can control, and then we're gonna rock back and forth ever so slightly, nice and slow. 
between those two feet. So this leg is gonna be working harder for just a minute and then we're gonna give it a break and scooch on over to the other side. So make sure that you are keeping your back flat, your weight is in your heels, enough that you can actually lift your toes up if you wanted to and you're just kind of going back and forth. So if you want to, you can make it easier. You can, you can feel this even if you're doing a not very uh, deep squat. So do what you can with good form and just hold it there. You can pop up and take a break anytime you need to. Just try to sink back into that squat as soon as you can. All right. Okay, next up we've got a uh, side, sorry, a curtsy lunge with a calf raise. So we use eight pounds per hand. We're going to be doing a curtsy lunge behind our body and then a, a toe raise, calf raise, and the center. So behind and back, up for that toe raise. Try to really squeeze when you go up for that calf raise. Stay right here and then control it. Lift up and squeeze at the top. Same thing down here. Keep your core pulled in tight and squeeze those glutes. Right down here, squeeze on the way up. These can be as hard or as difficult as you want them to be and it's really easy to limp your way through a workout and it's just not the same as pushing yourself. And if you're going to do it, you might as well make it count. Don't be afraid to work hard. All right, there's one of those. Now we're going back to that squat. Squat hold with the rocking back and forth. <clears throat> Got about three seconds left. Take a nice deep breath. Get your weights up there and go into that squat. So staying right here, remember you're just kind of going back and forth. Keep the motion nice and smooth. One side to the other, nice and slow. Don't let your body cheat. And when those muscles start burning, make yourself last just a few extra seconds. When you want to quit, just go a few extra seconds. Then come up, shake your legs out, take a quick breath and get right back into it. 15 seconds left. All right, there's 10. <clears throat> Five seconds. Three, two, one. All right, and we're done with that. So we're going back to that curtsy lunge. I'm gonna be using uh, eight pounds per hand. I'm sweating like crazy already. <sighs> Three seconds. All right, here we go. So back and behind your body. Go down into that lunge, come to the center, toe raise, okay? Slow and controlled, don't rush anything. You want well-developed strength through the entire range of motion. Fifteen seconds left. There's ten. We're almost done. Move on to the new group. Fresh batch of torture. Three seconds. All right, so now we're gonna be doing weighted squat hops. So you don't wanna make sure you land nice and soft for this. If you want to, you can do it without any weight at all. It's still gonna be a hard, hard exercise. So three seconds. So you're gonna go down to your squat like normal, but then you're gonna pop to the side and then back. So you're hopping laterally. Like I said, you wanna make sure that you're landing softly. And if this is too hard, you just stand here, go to the side, and step up. So make it work for you. Try to explode up and to the side. 15 seconds left. Ten. Five. Oh. Oh, ouch. Okay, it's okay. It hurts good. Okay, next up we are doing a wide squat plus a side leg raise. So I think I'm gonna stick with 18 per hand for this one again. Do a nice wide stance and go down. And as you press back up, go into one foot and lift that other leg. 
So do your best to balance on that leg while you're there. As soon as you can, as soon as you're coming up out of the squat, start to take pressure out of this leg. So you're kind of doing an assisted single leg Ooh, squat there as well. 20 seconds left. We're just a couple minutes away from a water break. Five seconds. Ooh, all right. So we're gonna go back to the squat hops. I think I'll keep eight pounds per hand for this one actually. Okay, one more of each of those groups. We've got the water break coming up. So try to push yourself. Here we go. Up and over. Make sure you're landing soft and that your knees are bent as you're landing so you're not landing with a super straight leg. Hyperextended knee. All right, there's our halfway point. Oh. 15 seconds. There's a 10. Five seconds, two, one. Okay. Oh, I am not mad at all that that is over. Oh my gosh. Okay. So we're going back to that wide lunge with a side leg raise again. Three seconds rest left. Here we go. Deep squat, back flat, come back up. Lift that leg. Try to focus on controlling it. I don't need to throw the leg up there. I want you to be in control of that leg lift the entire time. Keep it up. So if you're doing this routine with me, I wanna know if you're sore tomorrow. I have a feeling I will be. There's a few new exercises in here. Five seconds left. Three, two, one. All right, so we've earned ourselves a water break. So just a quick drink of water. Don't stop moving. If you stop moving, it's really hard to start again. So go get a quick drink, and we'll be right back to start in the second half. All right, we're back for that second half. We're going to start off with assisted pistol squats. So I'm gonna be using just one 12 pound weight for this. I'm gonna hold it in the center of my chest and it's kind of a different motion, but you're gonna be stepping back and then with the weight predominantly in that leg, squat. Now come back up to the center and alternate legs. So make sure you're keeping your back flat. And like I said, you're gonna really lean back and keep the majority of weight in the foot that is stepping back. So you're doing kind of assisted single leg uh, squat here. So it helps, it's kind of a cheat for balance and it's a cheat for strength, but it's kind of baby stepping your way to getting that leg strong enough to do a single leg squat. <clears throat> it's a goal of mine right now. <laughs> Working on it. 10 seconds left. Just really stick that butt out behind you. Remember to keep your back flat. All right, now next up we are going to be doing a deadlift plus a kick out plus a leg lift. So I'm going to lift lighter than I normally do, uh, 16 pounds per hand for this because we're going to go all the way down to the ground. <laughs> so you're going to lower for that deadlift, keep your back flat, bend at the knees to, if you need to, and lift, lift, and hop back up. Get your uh, head facing up again, do that deadlift, come back down, bend at the knees once you need to. Just make sure you're following all the rules, so keep your back flat, your head up in order to not round your shoulders. Squeeze on the way up. Over halfway down already. Lift, squeeze, lift and squeeze. And I'll hop back up. <clears throat> Pulling your core. 
either hop back up or step back up one foot at a time, whichever way you want. All right, so there's one of those down, so we're going back to that assisted pistol. This is just one weight. <clears throat> Hold it right to your chest. Take some deep breaths. And here we go. Sing back. Make sure you're not holding your breath. So you should really feel this in your glutes as well as your thighs, especially of that leg that's behind you. You can do this one. If you start to get tired, you can drop your weight. 15 seconds left. Three, two, one. All right, back to that deadlift. The kick out. All right. <clears throat> Here we go. So, I'm gonna lower that weight down. Bend your knees once you need to to get that weight down to the ground. Lift one leg, then the other, nice and controlled. Come back up to get your head up. Squeeze to pull that weight back up. It's hard to hop in socks. <laughs> I just found a uh, disadvantage to working in socks. We step into it one foot at a time. Two, one. All right, so I'm going to get this weight out of the way. Actually, I'm going to leave this one down here. We're going to a reverse leg lift plus pulses. So, with your weight in your forearms and your knees, you're going to get that leg up. Tuck it in, then extend all the way out. <clears throat> Focus on trying to pull in your core and squeezing your glutes, especially at that top of the range of motion. So make sure that you're trying not to open your hip up like this. You want to try to keep your hips facing the ground and make it all glute action there. So try not to rotate your trunk. 15 seconds left. All right, so we're gonna do <clears throat> pulses through our break. So get that foot up there and just pulse it like you're trying to poke a hole in the ceiling. <clears throat> and then we'll switch to the other side and get this interval done completely. We only have three more intervals here. All right, so that's our cue to start this side. With the up and out, squeezing, nice and slow and controlled. Again, you don't wanna be throwing it. You want to be in control of your body the entire time. So you're working those muscles all the way through. You can always wear ankle weights during this part to make it harder. You can make it burn quite a lot more like that. If you want to step up the challenge. I've got about 10 seconds left. <clears throat> Two, one, all right, here's our rest period. So we're gonna poke. A hole in the ceiling through that rest period, 15 seconds of pulses. Then we're going to start into our very last interval, which is going to be two sets in a row of back bow pulses. Two, one, all right, so back to those back bow pulses. So here we're pulling up, and once you're here, one, two, three. Now slowly lower back down. That's one repetition, so coming back up, one, two, Three, if you want to keep the focus on your glutes, you can pull in your arms, it makes it quite a lot easier. If you want to make this harder, you can keep your arms all the way out. And you can also, as you're done, when you're done with those three pulses, lift, lower your legs, but don't let them rest. So do your three pulses, and then when you come down, just hover. So these muscles are never relaxing. You're keeping them contracted the entire time. One, two, three, and lower, hover, or relax, take your pick. 
Almost done. All right, so there's our 15 second rest period. We have one more of these left. If you want to step it up, you can hold this back bow position through your rest period. So just keep those muscles, those glutes and thighs and your upper body and your lower back. You're going to feel it there. Just keep them tense. All right, here we go. One, two, three, and slowly lower. Hover or rest, it's up to you. Go back into those pulses. Whew. Keep it going. Try even during these when you're doing those pulses, you want your pulses to be kind of slow and not jerky. So you're, you're pulsing, but you're also controlling even the pulses. So it's all about uh, being in control of your body. Just a few seconds left. And let it relax, slowly lower back down. Oh my gosh, that burn. Okay, so, all right guys, I lied and we have just one more set to go. So two more exercises, I hope you don't hate me. We are going to be doing a bridge with a kick or an extension. So you're gonna lie flat on your back with your feet uh, pressed on the ground as close to your butt as you comfortably can get. And you can hold a weight right here if you want to make it harder. Otherwise we're pressing up and you're gonna extend one leg nice and slow and controlled, tuck it back in, extend that other leg, drop it back down, and then lower, just hover, don't rush, just hover before you squeeze back up, and then extend those legs in the opposite order. So you're always leading with a different leg. Drop down, squeeze those glutes back up. Make sure you're not holding your breath. So you should feel this through your thighs and your glutes and your lower back, a little bit in your core as well. All right, there's one. Now next up, we're going to target those inner thighs. You cannot spot reduce fat for the record. It's good to train your entire body. So even though our inner and outer, outer thighs have been working through this whole routine, we're going to get a little bit of each one of them, just a little bit of isolation. So tuck that foot in, lower and raise, keep your toe pointed. So try to keep it nice and smooth. It's kind of a small range of motion, but you will feel it in that inner thigh. You can always wear ankle weights, remember, if you want to step up the challenge even more. About 15 seconds left and two minutes total left. We're almost done. You're gonna want to make sure you drink lots of water after this. Eat a good healthy meal. All right, so we're going back to the bridge. So flat on your back with your feet on the ground. Remember, you can hold weights right here and ankle weights as well if you want to really step up the challenge. Otherwise, press those feet onto the ground. Be squeezing up and kick out. Try to keep those toes pointed and then let it back down. So really focus. You can tell the difference, you know, between kicking your leg out there kind of flippantly and really focusing on contracting those muscles once it's out there. It makes a big difference in how much you feel it. Same thing with pressing up into the bridge. Focus on squeezing all of those muscles. Like I said, it's really easy to uh, limp through a workout, but in my opinion, if you're going to be doing it, you might as well do it right and make it count. Make sure you're hot holding your breath. We've got under 10 seconds left. Alright, one more set of those inside thigh raises. So, stretching out on your side, we we'll start on that inner thigh again. Five seconds left to rest. All right, here we go. Up, slowly lower back down. I guess I did it like this on the other side. You can either put this leg here or on the other side, it's up to you. As long as you're focusing on slow motions, you're really using your own, uh, using your muscles for that entire range of motion. Over halfway. Ten. Eight. 
10 seconds. All right, so that is it. So like I said, I didn't put a cool down on the end of this either, so I will give you a suggestion for a cool down either here or there, so watch out for that. Otherwise, uh, you've done really well if you've made it all the way to the end of this, so pat yourself on the back. Make sure you do not skip that cool down and stretch. Like I said, make sure to drink lots of water and eat a healthy meal as soon as you can. Otherwise, good job guys, this workout is complete.